So it has been quite some time since I've taken you all to the Upper East Side with me. So that's where we're headed today to see some great shows. First stop of the day is at Olme and Rec Gallery to see an exhibit by Daniel Gibson. And this is Daniel's second show with Olme and Rec. And this one is titled Ocotillo Song. And the title refers to a shrub actually that grows in the south or southwestern, I should say, deserts of North America. And apparently it's a really beautiful part of the landscape and it grows in such a way with these outstretched branches that it looks like a torch. And it's perfect because these paintings pay tribute to the California landscape in a way that really captures its vibrancy and its magic. And they remind me a lot of like a Shara Hughes painting and the way that she paints landscapes. And I read an article about the show in Juxtapose magazine that I think describes it really well. The article said that his subject matter is one of California's past, present, and future. It's vitality and wealth, it's labor and people. The works, especially his newest paintings, are landscapes, but in a truly California sense where fields of flowers, farmland, farm workers, and the sun all combine into a rich heritage and deep reds and browns and earth tones everywhere. And the West has really been captured throughout art history in a way that sort of focuses on like the sublime. I don't know if you guys remember that from our history, but I love the approach that Daniel has taken, which is to focus on the utopian dream of California versus the sublime. And you see a California here that's full of life and culture and personality that you want to connect with. And on closer inspection, Daniel is able to not only capture the utopian dream of California, but kind of the other side of the coin that sometimes comes with following your dreams. He focuses on key pieces of California's industry, such as its reliance on migrant workers. And the gallery describes these paintings really well, also, of course, <laughs> as a landscape that integrates the everyday life and the socio-political effect of an industry that serves global and national hunger pains.
Now we're heading over to Gagosian Gallery on 980 Madison Avenue and they wouldn't let me film with my camera so I captured a little peek with my iPhone but this is an exhibit of four tennis court paintings by Jonas Wood and Jonas Wood is known for referencing sports a lot in his works, mostly basketball, <laughs> but he made a really fun departure here painting four famous international tennis tournaments and he did sneak a few basketballs in there if you keep a close eye out. Next up is an exhibit by John Polipchik at Petzl Gallery's Upper East Side Space. And the exhibit is titled, What Have We Missed? Which references a period of intense grief and disbelief for the artist and the world. And I love, I love John's attitude toward pain. He says that I'm more alive steeping in some form of grief or some form of intense experience. Grief is the motivator, grief is the awareness of the self, and within that infrastructure of pain, you can manufacture a new narrative. And I just think that's really powerful. I just think with everything that we've been going through the last couple years especially, that, I don't know, I just, I, I needed to hear that. But um, John actually lost a friend, so that was close to him, and he started making ghosts for him and of him to preserve his memory which is what this show is and these sculptures are cast in bronze and they're created from clothing fabric actual underwear <laughs> and just found objects and john also was quoted as saying that the ghosts are interconnected by something as simple as the chemicals that we're made of we accumulate these chemicals throughout our life what I'm trying to do in a short amount of time is put a life on each of them. The patina that happens over time for a human, whether it's aging or whether it's accumulation of knowledge, is a similar thing. I'm just trying to shorten the amount of time that it takes to do that. I wanted to get a shot of this interior staircase. It's very just like gothic chic. <laughs> That's what I love about a lot of the Upper East Side galleries is their really beautiful architecture that they're set in. But now we're gonna head up to the last stop of the day, which is at Anton Kern Gallery. And this is a really exciting group show because it celebrates the 25th anniversary of the gallery. So happy 25th, Anton Kern. And the show is titled Tales of Manhattan, and it's on all three floors of the gallery. It's one thing I love about Anton Kern is that there's so much art to see. They always utilize all three floors, usually with three different exhibits. But yeah, this, this one is just the same group show on all three floors that is just an all-star group of artists. There's some of my favorites like Brian Calvin, Nicole Eisenman, Hein Ko, Willem Sasnall, David Shrigley, Mike Silva, Jonas Wood, and just like so, so, so many more. I will try to shout out some of my favorites, but there's just so many works like with most group shows that I have linked the press release in the description box below, which has a printout of all the artists and all of the works if you're wondering, you know, who made what. <laughs> and so I will let you guys just enjoy the exhibit now.
can always spot a work by Heinko because of her adorable broccoli human character. <laughs> I love how big this piece is. Very excited to see this work again. This is a sculpture by Nicole Eisenman, and I saw this at Green Naftali a year ago, maybe two years ago. I can't really remember what is time anymore. But what I love about it is this inside. It's like a little mini witch's house or something. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but I remember loving that about this piece, so it was nice to see it again.
and that's it for today as always if you haven't subscribed please think about doing so it'll just notify you every time i put out new videos and i'll probably have one more new york gallery tour before i head to london and i'm gonna get some london content so keep an eye out for that and until then i will see you guys next time